Well, the Biden administration has denied South Carolina's request to waive end of year testing for students. The state education superintendent requested the testing waiver to help alleviate stress for students and to give them more instructional time, but later it was denied. Julia Kaufman tells us what this means for our children. The South Carolina Department of Education has announced end of year assessments will still be given to students this year. Superintendent Molly Spearman wanted the federal testing requirement waived, but her request was denied. I was very disappointed um, in that because I felt strongly that yes, we had to have assessments, but that we in South Carolina had done the assessments and had the data that we needed. Testing data helps schools see where students are academically and where they need help. Spearman says they already have that data from interim assessments. Particularly in math, particularly in fourth and fifth grade, had not done as well as they normally would pre-COVID. We have shown growth from August to December. Richland 2 high school teacher Patrick Kelly says many students aren't ready for the exams, not only academically, but mentally and emotionally. For a lot of these students, they will have been back in school for two or three weeks, and then we put them straight into a high stakes, high stress, standardized testing environment. Schools will be required to administer the exams, but the U.S. Department of Education has granted a participation waiver. Students will be strongly encouraged to take the tests, but not required. The decision left up to that family as to whether they can send their child safely to school uh, for the purpose of taking this test. Despite the participation waiver, Kelly says teachers will still need to pivot their lesson plans to prepare for the exams. Instead of focusing on instructional recovery, they're going to have to focus on test preparation. And I just think that's really disheartening and disappointing. The exams usually count for 20% of high school students' final grades, but this year districts can waive that. In Columbia, Julia Kaufman, News 19, WLTX. We're being told tonight all school districts will offer the exams in the last 30 days of the school year, but there will be no penalty for students, teachers or schools that don't complete that assessment.